Hi everyone, welcome to the 89th video of my Empire of Trabazond Art of War Let's Play, playing on Iron Man. So in a previous video, I vassaled up Byzantium and brought a large army down to the uh, South African Cape, or near to it. So I'm going to hopefully deal with these Portuguese Patriots now, which will allow me to finally core up those two territories. And once that's done, I'll be able to westernize. I'm a year away from Diplo annexing Tabaristan. And in between videos, I've made a ton of temples and a couple of ships to use up my money. And I was also quite close to my admin cap as well. Uh, I don't really want to spend it on tech when I'm going to be westernizing in the not too distant future. So I think I'm pretty much ready to um, pause. Don't think I'm forgetting anything. Right. Oh, I know what I sh maybe should be doing. Um, let's start improving relations with Byzantium. Russia's, I checked Russia's war, they're about 40% with the Manchu. So maybe in a not too distant future after they've done with that war, they're going to uh, want to go after someone else and hopefully I'll be able to get them in a war against the Ottomans. We'll see though. Hopefully I would have started westernization by then. Let's, I could well manage but that would lower my legitimacy. Is it worth it? don't think so really so I'll be able to get 200 from relations by improving them anyway so I don't need to do that uh, let's put timer up hopefully we've got enough troops here but what if we got six yeah it's not great composition really could do more cannons right, so we gauge them there and I completely forgot about river crossing so we've got minus one Could I have avoided it uh, probably not actually. All the provinces next to it, yeah, all have them. So should win it though. Our morale's amazing. Much better than Portuguese. Okay. Right, so they are defeated. Now there's 16,000 there. They're gonna take that in a not too distant future. Um, this is only level 41, isn't it? I'll leave a couple of guys there, though, and a cannon there, and I we, uh, probably should get cannons on them so they're done quicker. Arguably, I should focus on... I probably won't be able to prevent that anyway, so I think I should just get as many cannons in these locations as possible. I need... They're fort level 1s, aren't they? So let's actually deselect them split them in half, put one there, put one there, that will get them done really quickly. And I'll keep the rest of the army here maybe. Um, I'll leave two there, the rest of the army can come there. And that guy doesn't have siege. Ah, I need to get a unit over there to uh, with Siege. I think I've got another leader that has it. Uh, looks like Lithuania's uh, spying on us, making claims. I don't think they're allied to Austria, so they shouldn't be a threat. But uh, they could re ally to them at some stage. Poland, Portugal. Yeah, they might come after me, but Scandinavia and Russia are on my side. I shouldn't be that worried, possibly. Right. I could get a fleet there, that would speed that up as well. Right, they've reached Great Karoo. It's not a bad idea, actually. Oh, actually, I would need a big fleet, though, because it's really high tank space, so maybe not such a good idea. I don't want to pick a rival yet, because I don't really have a good one. Okay. So, if we... Where is the right thing I'm looking for? So you can see there, I need three cannons for a plus three bonus on a fort level one. So, uh, yeah, cannons are extremely useful on a, le on a low level fort. Uh, let's group those together as well. Take him out. Stick. Him there, put my other leader on. Uh, right, so we've fleet switched there. I probably 
don't need to bring any more troops down now, I think. Uh, what's going on here? Let's get him to there. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to start any wars now, because those will core up in a year and a half to two, and I won't be able to finish a war in between then. But those are almost already taken back. I only need to core up those two. So, put the leader on of siege. Get him there. Uh, that can attach. Move to bigger. Uh, I'm probably going to have to get rid of some of my mercs soon because I'm going to get all these Tabaristan troops. Hopefully, my force limit will go up a bit as well, though. Tabaristan's actually got problems. Oh, it's dealt with one nationalist problem. It's got one more. Do you know I got annexed? Uh, right, all so my troops. There, let's bring you to here. Uh, I'm going to move those to there. I guess I'll keep some cogs in Europe. I'm not sure I particularly need them over here. but uh, Manpower is 63,000 caps. So it's uh, coming back up. Captain Russia, let's call that. Keep that on the hand now, I think. Uh reach there, let's put the timer up. Okay. Uh Siege Cape's done, right, so I'll start coring there now. So how long is this gonna take? Got a tiny bit for more exhaustion. I'm not sure if it's making it more expensive. Maybe a point. I could wait for that, but yeah, I'm not going to. Uh, oh, it's longer than I thought, actually. 32 months, so. Two and a. nearly three years. Um, can I sneak a war in? They got 20 odd thousand troops, 25, 26 thousand. They're too big. Uh, the only wars I could start is to take territory to give to vassals. Uh, to Baristan, they are going to be annexed soon. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait, sadly. I just have to speed through. Speed 5 for a bit. Okay, uh, what's going on here? Hanseran. Scandinavia at war, I think. Are they going to drag me into that? Probably. Ooh, maybe they will, actually. Austria's involved in that. That's not good, actually. We're not getting paid. Portuguese rebels. Yeah, the percentage won't go up as long as they exist. Oh, these are done. Let's get those to there. I can convert, can I? Oh no, yeah. They've west started to westernize. Uh could have supply issues there shortly. Let's leave cannons. Yeah. And a couple of guys. The rest can move on. Um, I haven't got my siege guy here now either. Okay. Really don't want to be called into that. Right, crew's done. Brilliant. So, nearly three years and we can start westernizing. Uh, supply. Right, wait. Uh, they're going to take that before I can get there. Let's get the cannons down here then. Right, I think I'm going to have to honor that. 
I really don't want to lose my alliance with Scandinavia, so who are they at war with? So that's going to delay westernization. I might as well start another war uh, as well, probably then, if it's going to delay me. Let's check this out. So they are at war with that lot. Now Austria can probably find access over here somehow. Um, can I, what can I do, do here? I don't think there's any point in taking that. I'm definitely going to accept, but I might as well wait a couple of months. Uh, I can deal with that. Then I should. Pr I think I'm going to go after these guys, start a war over here. I uh, don't know if I'll be able to get it done in two years. Hopefully we'll be able to. Their fleet might be actually better than mine, so I'd have to deposit a ton of troops over here. That could be risky, actually, if I need a ton of troops all of a sudden. But, yeah, I might have to. So if I declare war on these, I'd uh, probably do that. I assume it wouldn't cost me extra Diplo points to take territory. Uh, I'd release the vassal after I've taken that territory. Uh, the vassal being Malacca. Um, right, what date is this on anyway? 22nd of January. Okay. I keep on bringing those down there. Yeah, hopefully I won't have to get involved in that conflict whatsoever, but it's... Who's actually in charge of it? It's the Hansa, isn't it? So they would... Friesland and High now. Not exactly sure how Austria's got involved in that, to be honest. They're at war with France as well, and they're winning that. France doesn't have probably hardly any troops these days. So, yeah, it's 22nd of January. Let's deal with this situation first, then. Should I start bringing... The Miltech is 12. Uh, I probably need at least 15,000 troops over there. I guess I should start bringing some troops over, but I haven't got many nearby, barely. Um... When's that done? It's a while yet, so I have to be wary of that. Let's take a couple out. Open those. Off to there. Right. There. I could move on today to stop them moving on, but I'd rather get my cannons back, so I probably should finish doing that siege first. Get all my troops in a big lump. Uh, spread discoveries. What's the claim on Suga? The Portuguese reb rebels could return in between when I'm coring up though and if that happens and they stop the coring again that would obviously be obviously be a big problem so I have to worry about that potentially let's ah, you're okay right they were successful More nationalism, so that means I can't culture convert for a while. Uh, maybe I shouldn't kill the rebels off. Well, no, I, sh I think it, yeah, it should be okay. Right, so swelling, that's done. Now I should be able to convert that now, good. I can go to there. Let's get them down to here. Right. Build 
buildings coming in. Okay, looted. Right, let's not forget Scandinavia. So, has anyone else joined in on this? Uh, Scandinavia probably won't win that without my help, actually. Maybe. Let's check something out. Well, Austria's not super strong at the moment. 66,000. Yeah, I'm going to accept, though. I need Scandinavia long term. So, accept. Uh, that combined alliance has what 170,000 ours has 110 right hopefully we don't go seeing a ton of transports landing over here now but it's possible uh, I'm gonna try and I might separate piece out of that as soon as possible actually uh, I could do have improved in relation to tiny bit with them but it's a 200 so it's maybe not important uh, right, stick them up there. Bringing my fleet to cross here with a ton of units could be risky as well since I don't really... It's just cogs. If uh, any of that lot brought an army over there, or a fleet over here. Okay. Let's... can I convert anywhere else? No. Um, right, let's reach there. Okay. Did I finish? Right, making a couple of cogs down here I was. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to explore if I'm at war. Potentially against that uh, Indonesian nation. So I have a fleet over there, and that's where I want to explore. Right, supply, right, it's good. If overextension wasn't a problem, I might go after the Kiowa, but it will be a problem. Um, it's possible I could get that war over in three years' time and take the territory, but then, yeah, I'd have to pour it, so. Right, so they... Should be there. Let's bring these back. Over here. Uh, where are those two? Uh, should I hire some more cogs? Kind of need them, so build ship. Cog. Cog. How many have I got these days? 20? 6 in Europe, though. Just mercs actually, and I'll probably consolidate them. Uh, I might get rid of that one as well. Okay, uh, let's, let's take suck the army, take the cannons out. I've got six. Guys out there, you can move to there. 
go and grab the uh, siege guy with them. Okay, let's bring those over to there. Might not be able to get to these territories if they have a fleet bigger than mine, but I'm sure that's a big problem to be honest. And just take territories here. Not going to be able to take the lot anyway. Um, right. Kuna, done, nice. Right, it's completed that. So we've got a ton of uh, buildings done. What next mission? None of those are any good. Okay, I guess it could be raising war taxes, but I think I'll save my military points. Let's put Siege Guy on there. Okay. No sign of any enemy troops. Good. Have they dealt with that? Yes, they have. Brilliant. Well then, I already got them back again. Um, I have to get a couple of thousand troops down there in a bit. Okay. PP points are about to go into 25 as well, so I can't really afford a second general in a bit, which is a pain. Especially if I want an, want an explorer as well. Uh, let's take uh, Mercs out. Two guys up there, attach those there, bring those over to here. Okay. Probably want mainly a Merc army over there. Tabaristan got integrated. Okay, it's a diplomat minus the diplomatic reputation for a while. Uh, right, so I've just inherited their army and I'm a couple over, it's not too bad actually. And Trebizond's grew one heck of a lot. So. Money hasn't gone up that much actually. Trade should come up a lot in a second though. Uh, since I can have all of that. Uh, right, I'm just going to take a second then to uh, see what I need to reorganize. Okay, so this is the religious map. You can see I've got a heck of a lot of territories that I need to now convert. I have no idea what my stability costs are, but they're probably pretty huge now. 209, yeah. So uh, that's a bit of an issue. Uh, rebellion wise. It's not too bad to be honest. Uh, there's a couple of percent on most of these. Once the Portuguese territories have been... Well, I'm no longer getting the overextension from them. They will go down quite a bit. Uh, they should do. Hopefully I don't get too much war exhaustion in the meantime as well. I could really still do with that theologian, but um, that's in the luck of uh, RNG, I guess. Uh, so let's start... Uh, to convert. The uh, place I'm going to convert first is here actually. It's got an Afghan rebellion so I think it might be the only one so I'll do there first. Uh, I've got my a new army from Tabaristan as well so I'll probably use that to go and crush these rebels in a minute. Uh, let's bring that down to there. Uh, what's my general situation looking like? So I have two. Don't know where one of them is actually. Uh, I've got a couple of bucks. Then I'm gonna bring those over to here. I'll eventually get round to. Ah, oh, bring them there actually. Get round. I might privateer a bit here and eventually get an explorer on them. Um, is there anything I'm forgetting? I've got diplomats. I'm actually gonna make a claim on Kiwa then that one. 
Shame I didn't uh, completely finish up getting the Afghan territories. I'll probably end up giving those to Bukhara maybe or have to call them myself. They are two ideas away from getting the extra coring cost ambitions uh, that they have. So I really don't want them to get into that. Um, right, so let's pause. Right, so diplomats back, keep on hand. I think I've got my ships. Right, Tabaristan didn't have a navy as well, so I didn't have to worry about that. Uh, I've got fleets going over there. Still thinking of declaring war on them. Can't see me being at peace for a few years yet. Let's get him on there. I'm a couple over my force to make, but it's not problem. I'll probably scrap a couple of troops in a minute somewhere. Um, let's bring it to there. Kandahar. Uh, there's a river crossing here. Probably will have to uh, do it there. Okay, so those are all of my Turkic, Turkish uh, provinces that I increased the autonomy on. I'm going to be reducing any autonomy until I've got uh, rebel issues under control. Uh, right, so I can go there. I'll wait until the morale comes up before I think about attacking there. Uh, let's get a couple of units out here, I guess. Hands, actually. Right. right, France and Austria made peace, which isn't good. Austria is now freed up to go after Scandinavia and myself. Wow, looks like Austria forced them to give territory back to England, I think. Lorraine got released. So France is starting to get tiny bit chunks taken out of it. I think they might have lost Bern at some stage to Castile. It's not really going to do much to them losing those territories there. They... Yeah, I'm going to need a good sized army in Europe though, to take on rebels, which I'm probably going to get at some point and maybe against in get involved in this war as well. Um, when I'll probably be able to get out of this war in three or four years no matter what. Hopefully. I can't actually finish up that war until I'm able to be at peace, full, fully at peace either. Because I'd have overextension from that. If I took the territory I wouldn't be able to release it as a vassal. Our enough nation got involved. Uh, okay, it's good that France. It's France looking like they may want to ally with me eventually. Okay. They're involved in that as well. Is Austria in the lead then? Well, it says hands are at the front, so. And it says hands are top there, so I don't see how Austria would be able to get people to join in on it. It's a bit strange. This is something I've missed. Okay, we're under our PP amount now as well. Uh, I'll scrap him in a minute. Well, I'm going to be wasting points. Okay, so 10k there now. Let's see army composition. Right, that's nearly done. Good. Yeah, I could do with more cannons. Let's 
finished and we lost the claim on Selenix. So we're going to have to do that. I don't think I need these claims now, actually, to be honest. Since I'm going to give them to Byzantium, but I'll continue doing them just in case. Right, let's convert it. So, we haven't got that one back yet. Right, I have to pick these carefully now. I probably that's gonna revolt. I'm not gonna be able to prevent that unless I get rid of my overextension. Shouldn't do Crimea. That's all autonomy. That's nationalism. Hopefully that won't happen. That's going down all the time. That's converted already. I've started on that one. So the Mazandaran culture I should go for, or the Arabda one. I think I'll go for Arabdil. I think I keep on, uh, it's not Arabdil, it's, it's Ardabil. I keep on saying that wrong. Let's uh, do that one next. Right. Okay, which Benguela. He's got 14,000 there. Oops. Maybe I should bring it back over here, actually. Bring that one back over here as well. I shouldn't need troops down here. Do in uh, Europe, potentially. So, 14,000. Yeah, definitely cannons. So then, 25k. 20k stack, I think. Against the lower military tech would definitely be enough. Keep that definitely in hand. Okay, those are my parks. Uh, send on a privateer mission. Where to? Lucas. Keep them busy. Right, that's done. I wouldn't mind religiously converting that now, but that's going to have to wait. So, let's check something here. It's minus 2.43 because of the recent uprising. I don't know how long that lasts. Hopefully, it lasts until it's finished over here. Actually, that's a tiny bit unrest now. So, the Portuguese should come back on here in a bit. Be careful with that. Uh, right, so that's finally finished. So, where to next? I got a mission. Get a presence in India. There, I don't know if it's still in the game, but there was a mission at some point where you could get a ton of free cores in India. They probably removed it, but if it's still in the game. Maybe I should look into it. Haven't heard it mentioned in a long time since, like, near to when the game had come out. Uh, production efficiency or trade efficiency? So, trades up to 19. Persia's gone up through the roof because we got Tabaristan's territory. It's hard to figure out that calculation, actually. I think I'll take trade there. Oh, and let's attack there as well. Okay. Could be doing anything with trade. 84% in Persian node now. Uh, so there's a, that territory block there and that's it. We've got all the rest of Persian uh, node, I think. those here. Um. Okay, 
won that, but we took a lot of casualties, I think. Right. Right, I might consolidate them, I think. Uh, probably been over half an hour now, so I think I'll call it an end of the video here as well. I'll probably figure out in between videos again what I'm going to be spending my uh, money on. Probably some more temples and constables. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this video then, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.